Hi, here we have a stockist who wants to make some profit by selling sugar. He contemplates about various methods. Now, which of the following would maximize his profit? And these are the four uh, options or uh, types of uh, profits that he can have. Let's look at each of these one by one. Uh, the first part here sell sugar at 10 percent profit so this is pretty straightforward right the profit will here in the first part will be exactly 10 percent so no rocket science here straightforward let's look at the second part use 900 gram of weight instead of a 1 kg weight so now here we know overall uh, total price is price per kg into quantity right so the percentage profit is the percentage change in total price that's the percentage profit so for here for this we have multiplication factor for total price is the multiplication factor for profit into multiplication factor for quantity so let's see here he uses 900 gram weight instead of 1 kg so since nothing is mentioned about price, we will assume that his cost price and selling price are same. So multiplication factor for price is 1 because selling price and cost price per kg is same. For quantity, he uses 900 gram instead of a kg. So when a customer comes to buy 1000 grams, he gives him only 900 grams. So a 900 gram quantity is being sold as 1000 grams. So multiplication factor is final quantity is 1000 grams upon initial quantity 900 grams. So the overall multiplication factor comes out to be 10 by 9. Hence percentage change in total price is the multiplication factor minus 1 into 100%. And this comes out to be 1 by 9 which is 11.11%. This is the second type. Right. Now if you look at these uh, two obviously he earns a better profit in second part instead of first part so obviously option a cannot be the answer and option d cannot be the answer right uh, obviously option two is much better than option one so option one here cannot be definitely the answer and profits are definitely not same so option d is also not the answer so now we are left with option b which says two and option c which is says two three and four so let's see out of these three are all of them equivalent or basically uh, do all of them uh, give the same amount of profit or different amount of profit let's see let's look at the third case here in third case what he does is he mixes 10 percent impurities in sugar and selling uh, sugar at cost price so again total price is price per kg into quantity he sells sugar at cost price so the multiplication factor for total price is equal to multiplication factor for price into multiplication factor for quantity his selling price and cost prices are same hence multiplication factor for price is selling price upon cost price which is 1 into what about quantity now let's say if he buys 1 kg he mixes 10 percent impurities in it so he instead of 1 kg when he mixes 10 percent impurities the total weight now becomes 1.1 kg so something which he bought as 1 kg now he is going to sell it as 1.1 kg so the final quantity is 1.1 the initial quantity is 1 so this comes out to be 1.1 hence the percentage profit or percentage change in total price here is multiplication factor minus 1 into 100 percent which comes out to be 10 percent now obviously although first and third are same but second is obviously better than both first and third so option c also cannot be the answer the best possible answer here is option b so although we need not solve the fourth part we can still say that option b is going to be the right answer here correct now even if you have to solve the fourth part the fourth part here says that uh, he increases the price by five percent and reduces the weight weight by five percent so we have multiplication factor for total price is multiplication factor for price into multiplication factor for quantity now price is increasing by 5% so multiplication factor for price will be 1.05 into what about multiplication factor for quantity 
he reduces the ba weight by 5% that means if a customer wants to buy 1000 grams he will only get 5% less than that that means he will only get 950 grams so what the shopkeeper is going to do here is uh, he is going to sell an actual quantity of 950 by saying that it is 1000 grams so the final quantity here becomes 1000 upon initial quantity of 950 so 0 0 cancels out this goes by uh, 5 20 times this goes by 5 19 times so 20 into 1.05 is uh, 21 by 19 this is the multiplication factor Hence, percentage change in the total price is 21 upon 19 minus 1 into 100%. This comes out to be 200 by 19%. Now, 200 by 19% is uh, definitely less than 11.11%, which was option 2. Option 2 so far was the highest, right? So, 200 by 19 is definitely less than 11.11%. Hence, of all these four options, option 2 gives you the highest percentage profit. Hence, option B is the right answer here. Thank you.